kicked on here. Okay, so uh, I was just making a desktop. I got a cough drop in my mouth. I wasn't expecting I'm making a video. I was uh, making a desktop video uh, using VNC Remote Desktop to install the drivers on my uh, new Windows 7 64 bit install on the AS ROP. So I uh, thought, well, this sure taking a long time. And, and nothing was responding on my screen. And uh, usually when you lose your, you know, when you lose your connection to VNC, it, t it you know, the app tells you, it says lost connection. Well, I uh, didn't see that, you know, it's just sitting there not responding. So I thought, well, let me go, I got out of that video, stopped it, and got over here on the actual machine. Uh, using my VNC switch down here, and uh, this is the screen I had, and I've seen this before. This is what happens when you boot the machine to this CD or DVD or whichever it is. And all it says there is just talking about it says create a RAID driver diskette for XP 2000 or XP 64. You that's your choices or exit. Um, <clears throat> type of number, you know. So I'm going to exit, but I have no clues why it did that. So I guess I'm going to hit 4. I guess I'll try booting back into the machine and uh, run that from, you know, here. I mean, run it from the machine itself so that I can see what I what what I must have missed in my uh, remote desktop display. And I guess I guess the reason well, that wouldn't make sense. I wasn't in Windows. I don't know why it didn't. Uh, oh yeah, I got to uh, tell it to boot to the hard drive. So if I hit uh, F11, I should be able to select the hard drive. But uh, I don't know if it crashed or if it um, I missed a message. I did get off of the screen and go off and do that web search and all that stuff. So I could have missed a message that says, uh, you know, so-and-so is going to happen. Do you want to reboot now or whatever, you know? Okay, match them. back into Windows I don't know I almost want to say hey I think I do remember some odd behavior like that of that with that CD but I don't know everything seems familiar and unfamiliar at the same time to me nowadays if that makes any sense I often think I remember things very strongly, and then it turns out I was exactly wrong. <laughs> and then when I do remember something, I'm like, hmm, do I really remember that? So, this phone only has 4.7 gigabyte left on it in space on the SD card. So, uh, but it's the one that's not in the tripod, and it's so much easier to hold up here. I'm trying to get this set back up so I can delete all these old Windows 7 32-bit files so that I'll have some space to back these phones up. That's what my what I'm trying to get this done for. Alright, let's see. hard for me to type with one hand. I'm, I learned to type uh, on a, an Underwood typewriter in seventh grade and I took typing class. And I know where my hands go and that's the way I've always typed is the proper way. So to me the hardest thing in the world is to type one-handed. Most of the time I can type without looking too. <clears throat> that was the first thing they taught you. And once I get my hands, well sometimes on my keyboard here that I'm so used to, a lot of the times I just sit down here and put my hands right down on the right keys without even looking, don't even think about it. But sometimes I start typing and it's wrong and I look down there and they're not in the right position. Okay, it opened it back up. Like it was in the middle of doing something. So you know what, that must have been an automatic reboot brought on by the driver installer and there's a message here whoops yeah do you want to do that okay 
Yeah, so doing that via remote desktop's not really gonna work. Because what I had needed to do was either pull that thing, that CD out of there and, and get it back in Windows or do what I did at F11 and get back in Windows. And so, yeah, like I was saying at the very beginning there, a lot of the, a lot of the driver installs have a reboot or two or three or four <laughs> before they're done. What's crazy, though, is um, this particular driver, that's probably the problem I had, be, the thing I was kind of vaguely remembering. This particular driver uh, CD um, has that um, installer thing. Well, it's not an installer; it's a, it's a little a a boot app to build a RAID driver setup. I don't even know what it's talking about because uh, you know I haven't read all the documentation. I mean, I read through it when I first got it, but skimmed it at least. I wonder if I can switch over. Yeah, I can switch over to those now. Utilities. I think since I said install all, see how none of them are. Uh, oops. Oh, it's just installing the VGA driver. That's what I saw. I thought I'd mess something up. I'm going to quit clicking on all that. Get back over there. It wants to go over into that spot, so I'm going to quit fighting it. But anyway, none of that is, is uh, you know it's all grayed out I mean just like the gray background there's letters up in there <clears throat> by the way you can't see that on the phone at all can you I doubt you can tell even when I get close now I'm, I was kind of have the mindset of when I was on the desktop video and you could see everything then but yeah if I'd have been watching uh, there probably was a notice saying it was gonna reboot and I would have known, but I got I got to I was jabbering away, and I got to looking up stuff on my web browser, you know, about uh, requirements of six, uh, Windows 764 bit, which is the minimum processor is one gigahertz, and minimum RAM is two gig, uh, gigabytes, and that's what I have is two gigabytes. So uh, I hope I don't know. I hope it's uh, 32 bits. It's uh, minimum RAM is one gigabyte. So see, I was okay there. So this thing might just be so slow I can't use it. That's what I'm starting to be afraid of now because it's been sitting there at 1.4 gigabytes just running with no apps running. Well, that's not giving you enough headroom to run. So, uh, headroom's a term. <laughs> it doesn't really sound... Um, that That's a term you use. I used to mix sound for bands, and that's a sound, uh, t term. If you never heard of it, that's a term you use for... How much more uh, room you got to raise up the volume on your slider? So, um, um, this no telling what this will do. It may reboot again right away. It may be finished, or it may be. Um, no, I don't know what. So I'm not going to just keep on using up my space here on my phone, and since I'm not really showing anything anyway. So I'm going to stop this video, and I'll either come back on a desktop video or on the phone. All right, bye.